if you're playing the game from 1936, you might have an opportunity to send some divisions over to the Spanish Civil War to ground out some army experience. We'll go through exactly how that works real quick. So in order to start sending over some volunteers, I need to bring up the Diplomacy tab for Spain. And in the menu of options, you'll see at the bottom, Send Volunteers. If you click that, it'll bring up a menu and it'll list each one of your armies. And in the text, you'll see the limit of the number of divisions I can send over is six. Since I already knew that, I've created an army with six divisions I wanna send over. And I'm gonna go ahead and select that army. Uh, if you haven't built the army before bringing up this window, you can bring up this window, see the limit, close it, build that, and bring it back up. And at the top, there's an option to send air volunteers. I'm going to check that so I can bring over some planes and show you how that works, but you don't necessarily have to do that. It's the uh, army experience that's really important. So now that that has been done, we'll get this message window saying our troops are on their way. And then at the top in the notification bar, you have the icon with a little arrow, green arrow in the hand. And if you hover over it, the tooltip will tell you when those six divisions will arrive in Spain. In the meantime, I'm gonna bring up the strategic air map. And I'm gonna go over to Moscow and grab two air wings. If we look at Spain, the air bases look like the ones in our home territory, except there is a zero of two. That is the number of air wings I can send over. So you have to click on the airport icon to get the planes moving there. I'm going to right click and you'll see that zero of two went to two of two. When I unpause, the wings will move over and then I use them like normal. If you send over a wrong wing, you can select them and then go back to an airbase in your home country and send them back. And when they arrive at their destination, it'll say one of two wings then, and I can bring over a different wing. Uh, we'll go ahead and let this play a little further. One big thing to note when you do this is you're going to shoot through your own equipment. So that's why I don't like to send aircraft. Um, and if you send tanks, you'll tend to chew through a lot of tanks. So it's best to send infantry. So our divisions have arrived. And on the right side, you'll see that we now have two theaters. If this is your first time using different theaters, if you click on the top bar of the header, it won't switch between theaters. But if you click on this second bar, that's how you get it to switch. Uh, you'll also notice that you cannot control your general unless you have the proper theater open. So now that I have this general selected, I can control them as I would a normal army. I can send them over here and do a spearhead into Spain if I so choose. One thing to note with sending over the divisions, if you are really aggressive with them and they get placed in a pocket and annihilated that way, you will not receive them back once the Civil War is over. If they are alive when the Spanish Civil War ends, even if Spain loses like they seem to always do following history, you will receive them back and they will most likely be veteran units. So be careful with them and use them conservatively if you're just trying to grind a little experience and get those veteran units.